Hi everyone, this video is to give you a little bit more information about our new Remora system. Okay, what is Remora? Well, Remora is this uh, little wireless um, connection. Well, this is your wireless transmitter here that sits inside your tank and transmits information from your Mako out to a second board that contains an LCD screen to tell you what's going on in your tank battle. Okay, Remora itself uh, connects up to your Mako 2 board um, the connection we use is this connection down the bottom here. Use a standard servo cable, yellow wire signal to the inside, and connects up thusly. Okay, so that's a Mako and Remora connected up. I'll just um, pause the video here and show you one connected up in this uh, tank right here. Okay, here's a quick video of um, the setup inside this Panzer III. There's a uh, Mako 2 board. <laughs> Don't worry about the cabling, it uh, all makes sense. And um, there's our Remora TX. So it just sits inside your tank. It'll send the information gathered by the Mako 2 out to your external unit. Okay, how does Remora all work? Okay, well, um, once you put your actual radio transmitter inside your tank, you then have to find a spot for your display screen. Now I've got a display screen mounted on the top of my Turner G9X here as you can see. I think that's a, a quite pretty cool, well, very handy spot to have one placed. Okay, so once you've got a spot for your LCD screen, what you need to do is power it up. Now, um, you can power it from the battery inside your, um, your 9X or your other system. Now it's just fired up here. Let me bring this into screen so you can see. Okay, when you fire it up, okay, it's going to come up with a couple of messages and eventually it'll come up with this, Remora Connect waiting on 99. Now there'll be a number of channels um, that the transmitter inside your tank will transmit on. Um, default at the moment is 99. So, okay, once your radio is all on, okay, and you've got that screen, you're ready to turn your tank on. Okay, I've just turned the tank on, as you can see. Lights are flashing, the Mako is um, in programming mode, now it's about to finish. Once the Mako is finished going through, it'll send information out to your, well I should have had it up here. Okay, so it's now saying system ready, press A for info or B for start. Okay, if you press A, it'll run through the settings you have on the Mako there, it'll tell you whether it's a medium tank, heavy tank, you know, if it's Battle Tank or Bergpanzer. But uh, we're just going to press B for start. Now on the back of the board here, okay, you'll see some buttons. We're gonna press A for start. Or is it, no, sorry, B for start. Okay. And it will just return the information, make our battle stat system ready. Okay, now it'll just sit like that until something happens on our tank. So let's turn our tank on. Okay, our tank is on. Now, if we fire our tank, well, fire our tank, we fire a shot from our tank. What will happen, as you can see, the screen has just changed and now says shots fired, one. Fire again. Shots fired, two. Okay, so it updates all of our battle statistics as we go along. Okay, let's fire at our tank. We fired at our tank and it will of course come up with now displaying number of hits taken, one. And so on and so forth. If um, you want to, if you've finished your battle, so that was the end of your battle, and you want to view all your final statistics, all you need to do is with your trusty remote, press zero on your remote and point at the, um, your battle unit, and it'll run through all your battle stats. Firmware version, hang along MFU, battle tank, medium tank, Coup de Gras was on, fired two shots, we had one hit, no repairs, 
and that's all of our battle information. Of course, you could press zero at any time to run through your battle stats. You just need to wait till the Mako comes out of that mode there, as it has, the lights are off. And you're, as you can see here, it'll tell you system ready. So you can just continue on with your battle. And maybe fire, so there we go. Hits taken two, fire. Shots fired three. Shots fired four. So that's basically how the remora system works. Very simple, pretty easy, and um, I don't think there's very many other systems out there on the market that uh, have this sort of function. So, Remora, available now from the RC Tanks Australia website. Thank you.